Hi Nuggets! In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to post to the blog or the discussion board on Fusion. First things first, you'll need to go to our school website and you're going to need to log in. So I'm going to do this as Super Nugget. You'll log in with whatever your login may be. Once you're logged in, you should be able to go directly to the class page by clicking uh, the name of your teacher and then selecting your class period. You will have to be logged in for this particular assignment. Once you are on our web page, you're going to scroll down until you see the section of the page that is labeled discussion topics. You can click on the discussion topic to see more information. Always read the information that I post before you post your work and always read it. So it says, Newseum blog, what was the highlight of your Newseum experience? Post your persuasive informative paragraph here on this thread. You can view the assignment guide and rubric by clicking here. I'm not going to do that in this video, but I do recommend that you do it before you post. That way you can earn the highest grade possible. I also have a list of reminders here. Proofread, no text talk, show respect for others. That would be when you're commenting. And do not post your real name. I'm the only one who will be able to see your actual name. So, in order to add your post, you're going to click this button called Add Comment. So, we'll click that, and this space will open. Then, you want to open your Word document or your Word processing document, and you want to copy and paste your paragraph. You highlight the text, and you can do this a couple different ways. You can right-click and select Copy, or you can hold Control-C to copy. Go back to the web page, click in the box, and to paste. If you hit control, right click, paste, it will paste your work in the box. And then you click submit. Off to the right, you will see your code name. This is what you will appear as. You will not appear as your actual real name. This is great because you are completely anonymous online. Nobody knows what work was yours or what comments were yours except for your teacher. Click submit. It says you're about to post your first comment with the codename Desert Ferret. You will not be allowed to change your codename. Do not change your codename. If you put your real name, I will delete your comment and you will receive a zero for the assignment. Would you like to continue to submit this comment? Yes. Comment pending approval. It will display as soon as the moderator has approved it. I will approve it, and when I've approved it, here's what the blog will look like. You can usually check back within 24 hours. Once your comment has been approved, it will be added below. To view your full comment, you can click the three arrows on the right, like so. You'll do this to view other people's posts also. And then when you're ready to write your response to someone, now obviously you wouldn't respond to yourself, you'll just click the reply and type your comment. I do recommend that you proofread your comments and type them in Word before you post them just like you did with your original post. Remember, you must post at least once for most blog assignments. If you have any questions or problems, please see me. Remember, the day that an assignment is due is usually too late to ask for help. Remember, I'm after school Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2 to 4 in the library. Talk to you soon, Nuggets. Bye!